Hi there and welcome to another episode on Gaming Long Plays. So today I'm gonna talk to you guys about the um, THQ uh, live event that happened last night. Um, there are two, especially two games that I really want to talk to you guys about. Um, the first game will be Titan Quest 2, which I'm really looking forward for. Uh, this will be a game that actually will rival Diablo for me, uh, or at least for me that is. Um, I really do enjoy the antique uh, Greece setting, I really love that. And I play the first game a lot. Uh, not super a lot, but a lot. Uh, and I really enjoy it, I got it both on my Nintendo Switch and I got it also on my Xbox One and I played it for my on my Xbox One for you guys. I was really looking forward to actually see if they would um, put the last DLC for Titan Quest, Eternal Ambers, and it's not being released on the consoles, which is kind of weird, if you ask me. It shouldn't be that difficult to import that DLC for the consoles, which I really do hope they are doing now that they have uh, recently just announced Titan Quest 2. So let's check out some videos on Titan Quest 2 and why I am really looking forward for that. Um, it really does look way better uh, graphical, that is, uh, but also it kind of seems like they kept the original feel to the game. Um, I wouldn't call Titan Quest a triple-A game, I would probably call it a triple-double-A game. Um, and it kind of feels, and I, and that's something I really do enjoy with the first one. It, it doesn't feel like super polished, and it do have its shortcomings, which I do enjoy. It kind of we sound weird, I do know what I'm saying right now, but it kind of is something with that game that really got me hooked and I love every single time I play it. It's difficult as hell, uh, because it's if you do not progress correctly with your character and put the right points uh, where it should belong and all that, the game can really be punishing. And I really kind of hope they kept the, keep this in the second game. But we'll just have to wait and see. So for the second game that I'm really want to talk about we didn't get anything more than just this and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean So with this, it's actually confirmed that they are working on the fourth game of Darksiders. And I really do hope they keep on doing the things with uh, where you play as War on the first one, Death on the second one, and Fury on the third. And I really do hope you play as Strife now on the fourth game, because Strife is freaking awesome. I mean, just look out Darksiders Genesis, I really do love that character and his character arc. Um, so I really do hope that, and for me Darksiders has always been a game that doesn't get enough credit, because, I don't know, it kinda is a double A game, not a triple A game, and it doesn't, it feels like the fan base is there, and those who, who has played the game actually do enjoy playing those games, um, but it still doesn't get enough credit, because it's a freaking awesome story arc, where you play as the horseman. Uh, the graphic is, is spot on, if you ask me. I really do love the cartoonish-ish uh, look, but I really do enjoy it. Uh, so I really do recommend play 
the Darksiders games um, because they are freaking awesome. Um, and let's talk about the third game that I were not going to put up, but I'm um, let's do it anyway. Uh, we do got to see Gothic remake. I never played Gothic, so I have no freaking idea how it will turn out. I have no freaking idea what the story is or anything. So this will be a game that I will pick up and play blind. Hopefully, um, I heard from a friend who's been watching my stream a lot. Uh, he tells me that Gothic is awesome, so I'm really looking forward to for that. So the THQ um, gaming convention that he had last night actually blew my mind and I really really am happy to have seen it. So with that said it kinda looks like I'm going to play Nintendo GameCube games for the upcoming year. Um, this will be awesome, I do have a couple of games that I'm really looking forward to play. And when I'm done with the GameCube I will actually sell everything that I do have for it. So keep a lookout for that as well. Until next time, see you guys and girls, bye!